Good morning. I have also brought my text, and I'm not going to use a PowerPoint presentation. We have prepared a PowerPoint presentation, and it will be available for you, and it will reflect all of the things I shall say next. But I think it's easier to read out and, and just talk. Okay, good. good morning. Thank you very much indeed. And I'd like to thank the organizers for giving us a chance to meet, to mix and mingle professional people from the world of culture and the world of health. I believe we are going through a time in which both of us need each other badly. And I believe it's a, a time in which society is asking us to work together, the humanities and the scientists. Science and humanities all together. Therefore, thank you. I'd like to thank the Catalonian Health Institute and uh, the National Museum team. And thank you, Guillem, for favoring once again these meeting. I'm going to introduce the Museums and Health Committee, which is nothing else but a group of professional people from the world of museums and the world of health who are in touch. And we meet a couple of times a year to share projects, to share doubts, to enrich each other, to enrich ourselves mutually, and to celebrate increasingly these new projects that are coming up, that are cropping up in Catalonia. And those of us who are part of this committee, I mean, today is a big, big celebration day. Now, this committee was set up in 2008, and uh, its origins were mentioned by Chema in a course also mentioned by Guillem, in which we also mixed up and mingled culture and health. I'm talking about 2018, not 2008, 2018. Guillaume said, I want things to happen in that meeting, and this uh, things happened. I will always remember that to me, that cause was like a change of paradigm, a total change of perspective. C coffee break time came up, and out of all of the people who were in the course, I knew a lot of people from the museums, but most of them came from the world of health, and I didn't know them. I had never met them before. And during the coffee break, well, you are having a coffee to see if you're uh, choosing a coffee or a tea and thinking about who you will talk to, and then you start talking to the person you have next to you. And then I said, I worked at the museum's service, and I had gone to that course because I expected that at some point, I mean, at that time, I saw very far away that physicians could prescribe a visit to the museum or a prescribe a participation in our actions. I told him that this was my dream as if it were science fiction. My surprise was when that person who actually introduced herself as a physician at St. John, she said, well, I am here for the same reason, but the other way around. I mean, we I mean, a lot of patients come to our office, and there is a point in which it makes no sense that we prescribe drugs to them, and we do not know what to do. And we have started um, implementing walks in nature, and that goes really well. And then we thought, well, maybe people from culture could also work with us. And, I, and we looked at each other saying, my goodness, we're next to each other. And we wanted to work together. And we were not aware that we both wanted to work together. This aha moment was felt not only by myself, but also by Chema, by Edouard, by Mireille, Shay, And you know, different people had that aha this wow feeling to a point in which I got a call from Aina, who is the coordinator of art museums, and she said, well, listen, these museums, these people who have participated in this course, they want to start doing things in the world of health. And either, I mean, she said, talk to them directly. I mean, you should act as a bridge or they will go straight to the health world. Well, no, you have to call Guillem. And we said, Guillem. I remember it as if it were yesterday, said Guillaume. You wanted things to happen. Well, these things have happened. There has been a cross-fertilization, and all of this energy is here to be channeled to do something. And you, Guillaume, you told me, well, this is good. This is wonderful. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't think we would start with museums. I was talking about museums in general, but now that you're so enthusiastic about it, let's start working on it. And then we called Dr. Carmen Cabezas whom we also met, and she talked to us about the positive health effects that museums have. 
and then okay let's create a committee let's create a panel and let's share what we know that museums are doing terry paris at cccb at the manac health and culture and museums let's see how we can make headway and that's how this committee was created okay fine this is very important this panel became enlarged other museums came the end the provincial government of barcelona now we have the provin the provincial government of girona wants to participate too and that's how we started there is somebody who's also key who should be here with me which is janira de tosa i don't see her and i'm sure that you will all recognize that without her all of the things i shall explain to you could have not happened there is a significant detail i'm sure you have seen that when i gave you the list of institutions that are part of the table, you will see that you are very mixed. We love working like that. There are all sorts of institutions. That, and I mean, to us, it's the same. There is the regional government, the provincial government, the city council. We're not here representing an institution. We're just people who work in different public institutions and we can offer things. And we're there to share and to start projects projects that not only benefit those of us who are part of the committee. We're well aware that what we're doing there is to build up something, to test out things, to try things out, things that afterwards we will want to be feasible, usable by all museums and all of the other institutions who want to continue in this project. So we, not, we do not work in isolation. What have we done? What did we do in 2018? The first thing we did is to ask Carmen Cabezas and Monse Grego, as she, they suggested, that museums had to be an inherent part of this assets map. We need to work together so that all Catalonian museums be part of that map. And prof health professionals can get into the web. And they see that just because of the fact you go to a museum, you are already improving your health status. You're improving your well-being. It is true that if you carry out an activity, the improvement is even larger. That's the road we want to travel. But we had to go there with the libraries and the other cultural equipment. Then we prepared this document together of museums and health that was mentioned before. And it's very important. It's a very short document, but it has been well developed and it presents a context. It wants to contextualize this work and to give it a theoretical basis. It's a document that I wanted badly to be presented, to be able to share it with all of the people from museums and culture who have been working in these type of projects and also with health professionals because, so that they can actually use it. Now, this document will be available from today on in 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 our, in our in our web page it is it is it has been posted and you can share it then we started out the three pilot cases of arts in health the first one has been explained by chema the three cases are very similar we work in health to co-create to design a project a project that has a specific health goal we're not inventing it it, it, what we're looking, I mean, we, we work with the health professionals from the primary care center to know what are the main needs of that specific community. Focusing on something, uh, the museum should feel comfortable or it should be able to, to be reachable through its collections and its working styles. And we start working together, knowing each other's resources, following a methodology, which, as I've said, has been well explained in that document. But it is crucial that it should be focusing on health, not only museums and culture. And then we make headway and we assess. We design an activity and then we assess it, we evaluate it, because afterwards we will publish it. We want to reflect that it has worked in one way or another, all the things that need to be changed. Chema has explained uh, about the Srodanyola Art Museum. And Edward, because, you know, the Empuda Art Museum in Figueres is a similar case. And we work with women affected with fibromyalgia. And it, it's a number of days. The same thing can be said with the Tomás Valmé Archival Museum in Cardedeu. In this case, I mean, we are a bit delayed, but I will well, keep on working. What happened in the middle of all of these the pandemic hit us. Things happen in life. And the pandemic hit us and every 
all of the primary care centers had other needs. We had to stop, stop and wait. And then we had a chance to contribute to another project that I'm not going to explain because Laya will explain it now. It's, a, it's called recovery. In this case, the point was not to help a specific community or women with multiple pains, but the health community is the one that needed help. And we loved it. All of the museums had to limit had to limit the number of people we could accept to help you out. And then we also promoted some training sessions with the support of Tere Perez. We're so happy to have Tere Perez in those training sessions to help those museums that want to work, that have any problem. Tere Perez is the one who started at the CCCB, the Alzheimer's disease problem. It's a reference project. And we're very happy that she's helping us those museums who want to start that process, helping with Alzheimer's disease. And sometimes we start from scratch. I mean, I want to do this and I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to go about it. I need some coaching. I need some people giving me support. I mean, not, of, not all of the cases are big pilot cases. We do step-by-step -step things. And anybody who wants to cooperate, we will find the way to help you out. What are the next landmarks we have ahead? First of all, we're working in of arts in health for something that we believe will be crucial it was mentioned beforehand you know the so-called rebex this is a catalonian figure these are the reference points about a community well a community's well-being carmen cabezas has said they will try to have one of those in each primary care center and they are in charge of connecting all of the things that happen in the primary care center with these community resources where we find museums as well. So these points of reference should know what are the resources available in their community. And we're working with the health service to have a training session so that these points of reference and museums get to know each other, so that they get to know each other personally and they know what can they both do for each other, so that they can actually have this aha moment that I had at San Juan de Deu in 2018, so that this can also happen here, to offer this possibility, so that at least they meet each other. What are their concerns, both in both sectors? And now we have, as a point of reference, this document. And then we also have the assessment issue. It is true that we are assessing these pilot case studies, but we would like to go beyond that. And I loved listening to the Minister of Health when he talked about the evaluation agency. We could, if they could come here, we would love it. And, and we will keep on working on it. It's a work in progress project. We keep on making headway and things happen. Maybe in an ideal case, we would love to have research, the research community and the, and the university community also working hand in hand with us. And for those of you who do not know us, let me just tell you that in Catalonia, we have 118 re registered museums, 118. We have some wonderful large museums like this one, which is fantastic. But we also have wonderful medium-sized and small-sized museums like the Sardanola Art Museum that we have got to know today. And all of them are filled with excellent professional people. We have art museums, it is true. And it is true that art is highly inspiring, but we also have natural sciences museums, history museums, technical or technological museums, and all of this is quite inspiring. And it helps you out because collective, the, the community or the collective stories that these museums host are tools to connect with yourself. For example, think about the railroad museum. You know, the history of trains, how many things they may remind you of. The Migration Museum, this connects with so many people. A local museum that keeps alive the story or the history of that community. You will find many different types of museums, but not everything is perfect, true. You must also know that as museums, we have very few financial resources, probably less resources than the health service 
I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. But if we have to work together, we have to know each other's reality. And our head counts are very limited. We have some excellent and highly motivated professionals. You have seen a sample of them here. But we are limited in terms of human and financial resources. And because we want to work together with you, well, we need to work with these conditioning factors. However, we feel a passion for our work. And we have two very good qualities that can be very useful. First of all, Catalonian museums and the institutions that give them support are one team. We're like a family. We're 118. We're not that many. And we are organized as a network territorial and theme-based networks, and that makes communication very easy. That's why when uh, the pandemic hit us, I was I got a WhatsApp that says, this is what has what's happening. To us, it's very easy to move. We can mobilize very quickly. And on the other hand, something else I believe is a very good asset is that we have a strategic plan, a master plan that we share and that we promote together. And that master plan, that strategic plan, has de defined a museum model that is a collection holder. Of course, our collections, our holdings are very important because if we, if we didn't have these museum holdings, well, what would we do? But we are a social museum. It is a museum and that was mentioned beforehand. It, we are museums that want to participate in societal challenges. We cooperate. We want to give care. And we also want to promote a critical spirit to help people to think by themselves at a time that it's so important to doing so. We are spaces that want to work hand in hand with other groups to face together the challenges we all face as a society. Solitude, mental health problems, the need to improve our emotional well-being altogether. Today, a year ago exactly, the invasion of Ukraine by Russia started. And this week, Justo Barranco, the famous journalist, interviewed a Ukrainian writer and he asked him, is culture in the midst of war useful for something? And I have a friend in the museum service who said, yes, it is very useful. She had been in Bosnia. She said, I'm sure it is very useful. But what did the writer say to Justo Barranco? He said, the need for culture has always existed. I, myself, and my friends, we created a cultural society in an underground space. From the very first days of the invasion, every hour we hold an event. There are concerts, poetry, classes. People need to meet to enjoy culture. Before the war, he said, there were two or three events a week that may happen in a museum. But now we have five or six cultural events a day. It is a primitive instinct and life struggles against death and against the senselessness of it all, the senselessness of war. And in this context, you will find Catalonian museums. So we want to open our arms to work even further with you. And I just wanted to say this, if at the health service you want to shed light on our society, you should keep on counting on us. You should keep on counting on culture and our work committee and with Catalonian Museums, because in that space we will always work together very happily. Thank you.